Hey everybody, and uh, welcome back to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and you guys are in for a longer video than what I was expecting. Um, I forgot. I I guess I've done so many movies from October and November, uh, a lot of which are Blu-rays, and a lot of which have not been seen, and will, and some will not be seen on the Indie Film Cafe Hall for a while so you guys are going to get a sneak peek before then and so uh yeah you guys are going to know a lot before even a while because i've been buying so many we only are allowed to have like well we only have five each so that we do so i can if i buy like 80 blu-rays or whatever it's gonna be a while before you know we get to them um and I buy more Blu-rays than Paul does and John Ward probably buys kind of in the middle. So I probably buy the most Blu-rays and stuff because I also buy movies that they wouldn't buy because I want to collect as many movies as I possibly can. So anyway, uh, with that being said, I kind of have them a little bit, um, you know, done in, in certain orders. So we'll get to that. Um, the first order is going to be the sort of dollar, was it, uh, be, uh, what was it, uh, Big Lots and Dollar Tree movies. Uh, this is going to be sort of a mixed bag of them because I'm not sure. I probably will know once I start playing with them. By the way, I'm drinking a hot ass tea and uh, in my turtles mug. And I also, um, I'm doing this in my kitchen because that's where I'm getting the best service, weirdly enough, uh, at night. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with uh, the Cloverfield Paradox, which I do not, I've never seen yet. Um, I'm, I plan to watch, I don't know, I, pl I plan to watch as many of these as I can. Um, but I haven't seen the, f I've seen the first Cloverfield years ago. Uh, I haven't seen the second one. And I uh, haven't, haven't seen this. And uh, th I think there's like one, 101 Cloverfield Lane. And then there's this one. And uh, I got this one at Big Lots. And I was like, you know, I'm probably going to get the other two eventually. So might as well. Uh, funny thing is most of my stuff I'm updating from Blu-ray to 4K. So one day I might do that too. But right now I'm happy with just having it on Blu-ray. Uh, another one from Big Lots is Happy Time Murders, another movie I have not seen. A lot of these, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say most of these I have not seen. If I have seen them, I will mention seeing them and what I thought of them. But this I'm kind of interested because I like Melissa McCarthy and I like puppets a little bit. You know, I like weird puppets that kind of curse and stuff. I, I want to show this to Paul. I, I think Paul would be interested in this a little bit, maybe, if he hasn't already seen it, because he likes his puppets. Uh, next is The Prince, a one of um, uh, Bruce Willis's movies that he did kind of... I don't, I don't know if this is when he started having the problems and he started having the health issues, but I know he was doing a lot of these uh, low-budget films, and I've got a bunch of them. Also stars John Cusack and Jason Patrick um, to stars i love um then there's uh the strangers pray at night which i don't have the first one i need to buy the first one and i don't have the first one because honestly i remember not really getting into it and uh the first one so i need to rewatch it um that was when i was at my i not digging home invasion kick that i was on i just was not there was just too many of them coming out at that time, and I just wasn't into them. But uh, I want to give it another try and watch this. So these might be on, like, I might do a double feature for uh, First Time Watch Fridays at some point. If I can find the, the first one. Uh. All right. Next is Patriot Games, which you can see is from Big Lots, and it was freaking 250 which not bad deal. Um. He kind of shut it off like this. I guess it was used, and I don't know. I have not opened it. Uh, I should probably at some point. Um, it It's a movie I really, really liked. I saw it at Best Buy for 4K for like 8 bucks, 
And I'm sad I didn't do that and just thrown this one out, but I uh, didn't. And then when I went back later, it was on. So I just was like, all right, well, I guess I wasn't meant to see it or meant to have it on 4K. All right. So next is a movie called Misconduct. I don't know anything about it, um, except it looks like Wall Street. Um, and it's got uh, uh, Josh Ducamel, uh, Al Pacino, and Anthony Hopkins. So, I mean, maybe, it, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I got it at uh, uh, Big Lots, and I was like, eh, we'll see. Um, it looks okay. I'd probably have to look at some reviews. The funny thing is it's in, like, I guess French, too, so I guess it's like a Canadian release. Um, it looks okay. I don't know. We'll see. Another one I got at Big Lots that I know for sure. Underworld. Uh, Blood Wars. Once again, I don't own any of the Underworlds, so I need to go start collecting them. If I get like one of the last ones, I need to get like all of them. You know, because it bothers me. I'm kind of a completist like that. I feel pretty. Uh, the movie starring Amy Schumer. Uh, I saw this there. I think it was really cheap. It was like two fifty. Uh, I saw this in the theater actually. It was okay. Um, why do I want it on Blu-ray? Uh, I like to collect everything, <laughs> you know, even if it's okay. Um, I just thought it was sort of like very much like Shallow Hal, except sort of the exact opposite you know, where she saw herself as pretty and everybody else saw her as who she was. And so her self-esteem was very big. So it was sort of like a reverse shallow how. Um, I liked I liked that idea when I saw it. And I was like, you kind of didn't go to places that I thought they could go to, um, especially when it's Hollywood. They could do anything with that idea. And I just felt like it was kind of, eh, not that great. Um. Wait, do I have... Oh, I put that back. All right. Um, next is Journey to the West. It, um, it is a Stephen Chow movie, the guy who directed Kung Fu Hustle. Um, I have not seen this yet. Uh, I like Kung Fu Hustle. I loved his first film, uh, Shao, uh, Shaolin Soccer. So I'm interested. It looks very... If you look at the back, it looks very... Uh, Big Trouble in Little China and I really really love that movie so we'll see alright um, then there's this movie I, I'm i not sure if I got this at Dollar Tree or uh, got it at uh, Big Lots uh, but it's called Absolution once again another film I have not seen uh, that's going to be like a big thing in this like I just haven't seen a lot of these so um Twilight, once again, I don't know where I got it. Probably, I think I got it at Big Lots, I want to say, but I'm not sure. Um, she left all the stuff on there, so I know. Um, I have not actually seen any of the Twilight movies. No. You, you're going to be like, why do you have all these movies if you've never seen any of them? And the same reason that I, I a lot of these are cheap. A lot of them are like two fifty to like a dollar or something, and so a lot of times I just buy them because even if they're terrible, I got them for a dollar, and they go to my huge, huge Blu-ray, you know, um, collection. An Aaron Paul movie called "The Parts You Lose," and uh, yeah, uh, one of them I'm gonna save for the next haul. I forgot I put that in there. I'm going to save for the next haul because that's the Christmas haul. It's a Christmas movie that we're uh, reviewing. And I'll, I'll, I'll let this one slide because it's close to the holidays and everything. I'll let this one slide because I already did a review of it. It is A Christmas Carol with uh, Jim Carrey. And I did a review of it. I enjoyed it. It's a fun, cute little... Um, it's actually a lot darker than I than I imagined it would be for Disney. Uh, but I really liked it. I thought Jim Carrey had a lot of fun. And um, I forgot that it was like animated. I thought it was like a um, 
you know, uh, live action. And I guess it's got a little, it feels like a little live action, but let's see all the pictures in the back. And it's got a lot of uh, special features, like, you know, behind the carol, um, how they did it, basically Countdown to Christmas Interactive Calendar, and uh, a bunch of DVD stuff, like capturing Dickens, and, you know. So you got the Blu-ray and DVD of it. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to put this over here. I'm not. I'm running out of room here. Uh. Um. Yeah. Hold on one sec. Let me just get this situated. All right. This would be where normal people edit, and I'm like, eh, eh. All right. So these two movies are sent to me through my friend, uh, Jessa, uh, Flux. Um. So. I if uh a lot of people might realize like I I went to uh what is it um I went to Scarefest uh in October and so like some of these are left over from October too uh once again uh because I just haven't been able to put a lot of these up um so uh Jessa and I were talking and I wanted to buy a couple of her movies from her. And so the only ones that she had that I didn't already have were these two. And uh, one is Reunion from Hell. And you'll see this also on the Indie Film Cafe one uh, thing. There'll be a, There's going to be five on the new hall. So you'll see five of them. And these two will be on there. So there you go. That's uh, reunion from hell. I've been interested to see. Um, then also cannibal hookers and hooker with a hacksaw, uh, double feature, uh, both by, um, Donald Farmer. Uh, there's feature length commentary with director Donald Farmer and a, um, I don't know if that's for just for, uh, cannibal hookers or if that's um hooker with a hacksaw but uh there's also interviews um and outtakes so there you go and it's it's cool it's uh, I, it's neat because it has a sleeve and the sleeve is different from the thing i wonder if it's a reversible artwork looks like it might be Ooh, no but it's got some nice artwork uh almost sort of not made for kids kind of thing. And she also signed them, which was really nice and neat and cool. And she also sent me like a little note that said, thank you. And how she looks forward to working with me and stuff like that. So that was nice. Um, then I got this online. Uh, so a couple of these I got online uh, through eBay. Uh, liar, liar. Uh, could not somebody had bought i think it was cinema sickness that bought liar or got found liar liar out in the wild and i was like i've never like i've never seen that myself and like in the wild i've seen this movie this movie's classic um but i wanted to have my own blu-ray copy of it so here you go Next is Oculus, which we did on horror film lovers already, so I can I can show that. The other one we haven't done on horror film lovers. I'm gonna wait on the next haul to do that one. Uh, but Oculus, here you go. All right, so this is getting into my A20. All these are A20. Wow. Okay, all my A24 hauls. Um, I went on a little A24 spree you'll see more on the next haul and probably more on every other haul that i do because i'm planning to buy all of them eventually all the a24s and they're going to keep making them so it's going to keep adding up and i'm going to have to keep trying to keep up with them but i'm pretty much buying all the horror slash pretty mu much ones that you know everyone talks about like all the popular ones first then after I'm done with all the popular ones, I might start buying the unpopular ones um, just to have my collection. But uh, speaking of unpopular, I'm like, I don't know. I have not heard. It's not probably unpopular. I have not heard a lot of people talk about this one. 
And so it's it's not like one that people go, oh my God, you know, you got to talk about this. Uh, it's, it comes at night. Uh, I've been I'm interested to see it. It looks really good. Uh, starring Joel Egerton. Uh, Egerton or Egerton? Um, Christopher Abbott, Carmen Ojogo, Kelvin Harrison Jr., and Riley Cow? Kai? I don't know. I'm really bad at names. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, you guys are going to butcher me on that in the comments, I'm sure. Um, it's got audio commentary uh, with the writer, director, and actor Kelvin Harrison Jr. So, there you go. Okay. Next is a movie that I still haven't seen because I think we're going to do it eventually for Film Freaks TV at some point is The Witch. All right. So there you go. I've uh, been wanting to see it. I I just watched one of his movies. And I won't talk about which one until we get to it because it's part of the haul. But uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, the Witch, uh, directed by Robert Eggers, um, who I'm starting to really like. I, I, liked, I liked the last movie I saw of his, so... I'm anxious to see it. All right. <laughs> Controversial A24 movie that some people like and some people hate. Um, and I loved. So uh, I was very happy to have it in my collection is Tusk. Um, this is a movie that like, and it's got audio commentary with uh, Kevin Smith. Awesome. A24 and Kevin Smith did this. And I'm actually planning to buy all of all of the Kevin Smith movies on Blu-ray or 4K when uh Clerks 3 comes out on 4K. Um this movie I've been like dying to rewatch uh because it's a movie I remember when I first saw it, I saw it in the theater and I was supposed to go with a friend of mine, but she unfortunately had to uh do some stuff for class or whatever, so she had to pass. Then later she got me a little walrus that she won at the fair and she gave it to me um and i thought that was cute uh because she felt bad for missing out on it and i was like well you should feel bad for missing out it was a good movie uh i had a fun time um but yeah this is a movie that a lot of people like or a lot of people hate there's no real oh i kind of like that movie no it's you either love it or you hate it that's the way it is let's go there you go all right, and okay, so I think this is okay. Why was that? All right, so I think I'm gonna do that one. Mm, yeah. So next is Under the Skin. I've been wanting to get this as well. Uh, uh, was it Scarlett Johansson? Oh, what a babe. So, uh, I can't wait to watch this and. It's only got a making of featurette, but you know you can't complain. Uh, it's uh, I really got it for the movie. Then a movie I just watched for the first time recently, uh, because I've been dying to watch it, and I'm on this A twenty four kick. Watched Hereditary, and I really enjoyed this movie. I really, really, really did. Um, I thought it was great. It was disturbing um scary at times like it was it was kind of messed up like i was surprised so there you go um and in the ending a lot of people are saying they hated the ending and that like ruined the whole movie for them um the ending for me was like that's the only way it's gonna end you know like there was no other way it was gonna end uh nobody was gonna be happy no matter what they did at the end of that movie um it's just it it wasn't made with like you know to have like this sort of ending whatever like you know like you have to watch it you'll understand what i mean it it ended i think as perfect as it could so i'm gonna do a review of it at some point uh, so then i got this at uh black friday uh which we'll get into more black friday hauls um soon uh but um this was men and uh, directed by the guy who did, um, uh, what is it? Did 
um, Ex Machina and Annihilation, both which have on um, 4K. So I'm kind of bummed that I could not find this on 4K. I don't think it is on 4K, um, but I got this for like eight bucks at Best Buy, so it's kind of kind of worth that. Then X, which I just watched recently and loved, also. So I really, really adored this movie. Um, so I, I've known Ty West, like not known personally, but I've known of Ty West and his work since like 2000, the, 2009 or 10 or whatever, when he did the uh, uh, Cabin Fever 2 um, movie. And so I started following him. Um, I'm not going to lie. I need to re watch so i'm probably gonna buy at some point the innkeepers and house of the devil and try watching them because everybody talks so great about those movies i just have not seen them uh yet but i absolutely did love this movie i'm i want to buy pearl but right now it's like 20 to 30 bucks to buy pearl and i'm just not gonna spend that on on it yet uh but i am interested in uh getting it eventually And I did spend 20 bucks on this one, which I, I know. I haven't even seen it yet, so I have no idea if I should have or shouldn't have. Uh, bodies, 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 starring uh, um, Pete Davidson. Um, it's uh, got audio commentary with the director. Does X have any commentary? No, but it's got a couple featurettes and an extended scene from The Farmer's Daughters. Um, which is the porn that they were making in there. And uh men had like a making of uh hereditary. Uh hereditary had something, didn't it? Uh Curse the Nature of Hereditary and Evil in Miniature. Also, the guy who did cur uh Hereditary did Midsummer, which I Midsummer, however you want to pronounce it. I wasn't a huge, huge fan. I did a horror blood and coffee on that, and um, but I am very interested to rewatch it and review it because kind of interested in that. So, but bodies, bodies, bodies is uh, another one that you know it's got commentary and it's got a making of and deleted scenes. So there you go. Those are my A twenty four movies so far. Um, I actually just ordered two. That will be coming soon. So how many is that? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really, it's only ten. Huh. Well, I've got two coming. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and that'll be on the next haul. So there you go. All right. So next, we're gonna get into my criterions because Criterion had a sale this this month, and I am. Done buying Criterions for a little bit. I got six. I think that's enough. Um, you know, uh, yeah, if people know me, I, I like to have even numbers and stuff. Um, I don't like odd numbers, period. So, um, yeah. So here we go. First off is Barry Lyndon, which I did watch and I loved. Um, I, it's funny. I, like, I'm very, I guess I'm not very hard to, like, please, as long as you have a story that's entertaining me, you know, I'll like it. Um, this movie's a little long, so it's like 185 minutes, like it's over three hours long. Um, if you're not, if you don't want to watch that, then don't. You know, if you're, if you're a snob about uh, watching, you know, longer movies, uh, my suggestion would be watch it and like take a break and then come back and finish it. You know, uh, that's the beauty of uh, Blu-rays. And stuff, but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, this is Barry Lyndon. Uh, it's got a lot of special features if you want to pause that and see all the special features on there, okay. And just like all of their stuff, their packaging is phenomenal two discs, um, one uh, one awesome booklet reversible artwork or just no it's just nice it's nicely done then i also watched this and absolutely i mean i'm gonna say that about all of these there's a couple i haven't seen yet but um 
the ones I have seen, I I mean, Criterion generally does not put out bad movies. You know, um, they might put out ones I'm not that into, you know, or whatever. But most of the time, I'm sort of I'm into like expanding my culture and watching things I've never heard of, or watching things that I have heard of, but you know, they're just uh, might be a little deeper than what I what I normally watch. But uh, this one's Thief. Uh, starring James Caan, who unfortunately just passed away recently. That's why I wanted to buy it. Um, I wanted to see it. I didn't know knew nothing about it. Um, I do really like James Caan and his son Scott Caan. So uh, couldn't wait to check this out. It's really good. It's uh, it's about a thief who uh, well, it's about a thief. But it's about a thief who uh, wants to pull out the one last job and move on. Can can you hear that story a lot? But The way they do it, it's very dark, very gritty, um, very feels like something like Martin Scorsese would do. Uh, next up, we have The Graduate. Yes, this will be on all of these, I think, will eventually be on Criterion Watch at some point. Uh, the other show I have where I do Criterions. Um, I absolutely love uh, this movie. I thought it was great. That was weird. It's a fuck strange movie. Um, I was always surprised that like even my parents like this movie because this movie is generally very fucking weird. There's some strangeness to it, but it's such an interesting movie. I really liked it. And uh there you go. So there's some extras on there. And uh Big Thief. I didn't show that off. Not much uh, as far as Thief goes. Um, I mean, audio commentary featuring Mann and James Kahn is pretty cool, and then new interviews. So that's awesome. Um, Michael Mann directed uh, Thief, so yeah. I guess that's why it seemed kind of Martin Scorsese-like. Um, let's see. Uh, Hidden Fortress. I want to get every um, Akira Kurosawa film that's in the Criterion Collection. And uh, so I want to start, because I got Seven Samurai, I want to start with sort of the most famous ones, you know, this, Rashomon, uh, High and Low, all of those. So um, I wanted to, The Hidden Fortress, the one that inspired Star Wars, is what a lot of people say. Uh, yep, influence on George Lucas's Star Wars. Uh, and even in fact, they, if you haven't heard of it, it it says in the thing, um, uh, the Hidden Fortress stars the inimitable in uh, Toshiro Mifun, Mifune as a uh, general uh, charged with guarding his defeated clan's princess as the two smuggle royal treasure across hostile territory. It sounds very Star Wars-like. So, princess and and take samurais out and put in uh, guys with lightsabers, you get sort of a similar thing. Uh, another thing is I want to get all the 4Ks from... So these two are 4Ks, but I want to get all the 4Ks from um, David Lynch. And so I started with one of his most famous, which is Mulholland Drive. And uh, once again, I've not seen it, but I have been on Mulholland Drive driven on it and i've actually we've actually stopped jackie my uh former roommate and i stopped so i'm i'm, I'm anxious to see um i'm anxious to see it i'm anxious to check it out and watch it uh, i did watch twin peaks and i have seen a couple of his stuff but um i think i own i know i own blue velvet on regular blu-ray i don't own the and a lot of them, I'm going to wait till they get the 4Ks before I buy. Because uh, I'm not going to buy any more Blu-rays that I'm probably not going to end up keeping. Because I want to keep, uh, I want to get all the Blu-rays, uh, 4Ks. So 4Ks come with the Blu-rays, so might as well. Uh, unless you're, unless I buy from Arrow, which I'll get into in a second. But last but not least on the, uh, this not last but not least on the thing, but the last and la not least on the, 4Ks uh, on uh, criteria, uh, criteria. Now, 
the other ones were not 4Ks, just Mulholland Drive and this, Uncut Gems. So I wanted to get, uh, this would be my third uh, 4K from Criterion. And because uh, I got Citizen Kane as well. So the the this two these two and Citizen Kane. And Uncut Gems is also not only is it a 4K, and not only is it a uh uh criterion, it's also an A24 movie. So kind of like best of all worlds, right? Um and there you go. So uh uncut gems right there. So boom. All right, so we're going to go into our Arrow. I only got three Arrow movies and uh, kind of excited to share them off. Um, to go back to the David Lynch thing, I got David Lynch's Dune on uh, from Arrow, which is kind of cool. Um, and then uh, and I, I watched some of it just to see what it looked like on my 4K television. It's, oh, it's epic and big and broad, and I'm amazing. I love it scope is just really amazing and i mean if you look at that right there it just looks cool i mean all that stuff so here you go and the uncut gems had a lot of stuff uh so there's a24 and cut gems and uh Mulholland drive had a bunch of different stuff too so boom all right also got robocop Sort of a classic uh, one. Now this has the, uh, I think this is the director's cut. Not sure if it has the regular on it too. Um, yeah, I think it's just the director's cut. So it's interesting because I think I have the regular on Blu-ray. So theatrical cut. Uh, this is supposed to have like more violence to it and stuff. So kind of interested in seeing that. And uh, for Arrow, my last but not least for Arrow is Romance. Uh, now, this is just the 4K, not the 4K plus Blu-ray. So it's just got the got the movie, and that's it, one movie. Um, but I have the regular on Blu-ray, so I don't really need... Uh, I don't need the... Uh, but I may end up buying the Arrow Blu-ray and then just selling or giving away my... Uh, uh, true romance, regular true romance. So there you go. And it's got, you know, it's got an amazing thing. It had a uh, poster. I forgot to bring it down, but it had a poster. It's got a little thing right here. Ah. A little cards and stuff from, I don't know what that is. Um, little cards. It's a lot of cool stuff. That's so funny. That that makes it look like uh, Reservoir Dogs a little bit. A little bit. Bunch of guys in black suits. One of my favorite Quentin Tarantino written scripts. Actually, my favorite was written scripts. Um. So there you go. See? This is the arrow, I guess, thing in there. The other ones, I don't think really had that in there. I think this is like one of the few that I actually had a booklet. This doesn't have a booklet. No, it does that will see what you're missing thing. But yeah. All right. Moving on. All right. We're going to go right to everything else. All right. So this is uh, what I got from Black Friday slash I think this is is this all from Black Friday? This might all be from Black Friday. Uncut Gems I also got on Black Friday, but it wasn't didn't have like a play. It wasn't much of a different deal than the 50% off that uh Criteria has on uh in um November's. So uh so then there's the Dark Crystal. Um that I just watched for the first time ever and absolutely adored. Um I may should have done a first first review of this maybe i will um because i just saw it for the first time so maybe i'll do it but we'll see first time watch um then uh this i not my first time and i actually own it on blu-ray i'm gonna get get rid of it at some point because it comes with the blu-ray already 
and this is Labyrinth, which kind of goes along with the Dark Crystal. So there you go. Uh, and then... Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I uh, was uh, dealing with some stuff going on in the house. Um, all right. So next is uh, Stanley Kubrick's film, Clockwork Orange, which I did not have on uh, 4K. Um, I think I have it on Blu-ray. So I think I'm going to have to get rid of that. But uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't have much different stuff than the... It says it's got commentary by Malcolm McDowell and historian Nick Redman. I think that's already on the Blu-ray. So I don't think it... It's just it's going to look, you know, a million times better. Sadly, it, it won't be, like, director approved, I don't think, because Stanley Kubrick passed away before you could approve this stuff. So, yeah. All right. Uh, next um, is a film that... I know now I need one more of these, but I didn't know before because I only got a seven pack for Saul. Uh, but and I don't have Jigsaw, but I got Spiral, and this is really cool. So, you can tell this is a a case thing, you know, and it's got a clear case. Uh, this is a steel book, and uh, look inside. Let's open that bad boy up. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Do not want you seeing that because I may use that for something else. So we'll see. Um, there you go. So okay. Wow, holy crap. Um yeah, there's just a lot going on here. Can't tell what side this goes on I'm gonna guess whoops I guess not um, maybe all right yeah so it's it's a spiral and from the book of Saul so that's pretty cool it's from Best Buy all right also the edge of tomorrow um and that's pretty cool that's got a little um slip case right there uh, same artwork. Uh, I don't think it's got a reversible artwork. No. Um, so once again, gotta get rid of these so you don't see them. There you go. I don't think it's got much different stuff than the Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, it's loaded with extras on Blu-ray, so it doesn't even seem like any of the extras are actually on the 4K itself, which is fine, really. When you buy the 4K, uh, you really want the, the just the upgrade and the fact that it's on, as you can see, HDR, um, high definition range, high dynamic range, sorry, high dynamic range, sharper, brighter, more vivid color. And for a movie like this, this movie did have a lot of cool visual effects and stuff. I remember seeing it. It was uh, called like live, die, repeat is what like a lot of people called it for the longest time. That's just like the tagline. But everybody just kept calling it live, die, repeat. And I always thought that was kind of funny. Um, it's a good movie. It's it's really fun. Um, it's not something like it's something I got for 10 bucks and I got it mainly for the 4K like look of it. Plus, I don't have it on Blu-ray. So. Speaking of which, I don't have on Blu-ray, but I couldn't wait to actually own myself and just watch this twice because I watched it by myself and then my dad wanted to see it for the first time. He had never seen it. And that is The Goonies. So there you go. The Goonies. Um, we did this right before Thanksgiving. So that was kind of cool. Got to have a little pre-Thanksgiving movie day thing. Um, and The Goonies... Once again, it's it it's got everything that's on like the DVD or Blu-ray, which is like commentary uh, with by director Richard Donner and select cast members. I remember like Corey Feldman was there. I think Sean Astin and maybe a couple other people, but not like everybody of the cast. Um, I mean, what a great cast though! Like, I mean, as I said, Sean Astin, uh, Corey Feldman, 
Carrie Green. Uh, which is really funny that she worked with, uh, she worked on Lucas with Corey Haim. Then later she worked with uh, Corey Feldman in The Goonies. You know, uh, this is a bigger movie than Lucas ever became. Um, Josh Brolin, uh, aka uh, Thanos, um, just amazing cast. Um, loved it. Oh, and Key. Hang, uh, I, I can't even say his name, but the uh, short round uh, from uh, uh, Le Legend of the um, Legend of the Good God, I was about to say the Legend of the Temple, but Hidden Temple. But <laughs> that's uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the uh, Legend of the Temple of Doom. Oh my God, my brain! Like it's nighttime right now, so if I'm starting to like make no sense, just bear with me. Um, another movie I just saw, and you will get a review of it from me, so I won't tell you whether I like it or not, but is the movie The Northmen. So this is going to go up on Friday as a review. I may do a couple of these other ones, too. Um, I may do uh, the one I just, just watched. Uh, um, uh, uh, I may do Dark Crystal, so we'll see. And the last two, oh my goodness, this is it, are also A24 4Ks. So there's not many of them out there, um, honestly. They do more Blu-rays than they do 4Ks, but um, I'm not going to complain because it's, I'm happy to get them if I can get them. Uh, first is The Green Knight. Uh, now, I want to do a video on this, and I probably will at some point, but... Wait till we do. I, I wait till you see my update video, and you'll see what more about this. You know, so there you go. Um, and uh, the Green Knight, and does that have commentary or anything? The boldest of blood, a uh, and wildest of heart, the making of Green Knight, practitioners of magic, visual effects, illuminating the technique, the title design, and uh, theatrical trailer. All right. And the last, but definitely not least, one that will get a review, definitely. Also, check the update about it. Um, is everything everywhere all at once? Um, <laughs> if you heard me talk about this before, I, I, was, I was just as blown away. Now, it's funny because this movie got a lot of hype, and uh, I was a little worried... Uh, that it was not going to live up to the hype. That I was just going to be one of those people that was like, eh, that's okay. Nothing to write home to mom about. This movie is everything to write home about. about tomorrow. This may be my favorite movie of the year. Uh, I don't know. It's I have to watch. I'm going to have to watch The Green Knight, which I think came out in 2022. This might have been 2021. This is 2021. Okay, that doesn't count. Uh, but I, I, def I definitely have seen the Northmen. This this is my favorite movie of all time. Not like not all time. Favorite movie of of this year. Not all time. It's it, it'll be a while if it ever gets up there. I don't think it'll be my favorite. I don't think technically it'll be my top uh twenty you know movies or whatever. But it is really up there for me. I I really dug it. I liked uh Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh but I feel like this did it better. You know, like I think my biggest complaint was uh with the Multiverse of Madness it just didn't feel like the multiverse went into madness. It felt like this movie made the multiverse go into madness, <laughs> you know. Like it, it seemed to make more sense. And then the the girl um the the villain of it is so good. She just kills. Um, sadly, she probably won't go up for uh, supporting because Jamie Lee Curtis is also in and she'll probably go up for supporting or or she'll have a chance to win it. Um, and I thought Jamie Lee Curtis was... She was good. She was... It, it was just... I, I This girl was so good. The villain was so good. Like, everybody... Everybody, the main two people, um, 
everybody. And then there's the dude from Goonies, um, the short round, uh, who, data from data, data from Goonies. Um, yeah, uh, he was so good. James Hong, um, uh, who I think was from Big Trouble in Little China. Um, but James Hong was so good in it. I mean, so many. I mean, look at that. Oh, amazing. This, and I saw the one that they had at Walmart, and I, I was like, like I saw it online. I was like, I'm glad I, I picked up this one. It was the same price. I could have got it at Walmart. It would have been like the same price, and would have been just a white cover. And it was eh, this. This cover is pretty awesome. So I was really happy to have this. That's it, guys. That's that's my October, November, Black Friday haul. Um, and I say October because just some of them are like leftovers from October, but mostly this was a November haul. And that was because I went on a spree to buy a ton of um, Blu-rays and 4Ks that I've been wanting to get for a while. And there is never going to be this big, I don't think. I mean, I say that and then, you know, next haul may be huge. I don't think so, though. I think it'll I think it'll be a pretty small haul compared to, to this. Uh, once again, I think it's because the Black Friday sales. Uh, so everything was a lot cheaper. Um, there was not just the Black Friday hauls, but there was um, the October ones. And there was just ones I've been wanting to get. I've been wanting to get a bunch of the A24 movies. Um, finally diving into that and I'm going to have a collection of those um, I'm going to have all my criterions all my 4Ks I've got like 90 4Ks right now um, I'm going to I'm trying to get 100 uh, up to 100 and then I'm going to keep going but I'm going to try and get up to 100 soon then I've got like almost a thousand Blu-rays and so I'm going to try to get um, uh a thousand, you know, keep going, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 8,000, a million, whatever I can do. Um, a million, that'd be nice. Dude, I don't know where I put everything then. Um, I'm barely, I'm running out of places here and I'm not even at, uh, there, but, uh, it's really nice in my house. I, in my room, I have, uh, all my Blu rays like right next to me and, uh, and I'm trying to put them in order and stuff. So, I've gotten everything written down of what I have. There are some stuff that's being borrowed by people that I need to get them back at some point. Um, but until then, uh, yeah, uh, next haul won't be till January. So maybe that is a good thing that we did the big haul uh, because it won't be till January because we're going to do this on the first Tuesday of the month of the next month. So this would, this is coming out on, the Tuesday before uh, Jan or, uh, December, the next one will come out actually on the first Tuesday in January. So that also gives me a little bit more time to like collect, you know, a haul, you know, to show you guys. Um, but yeah, this is the stuff that you're not going to see on the Indie Film Cafe one until like months, maybe years from now because of it being five movies because like you count how many of these and these have not been done on uh there yet like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like wow like that's like eleven ten twenty so this is probably yeah that's that's already a, a whole year uh of, of stuff here right now just this and so we're close to it close to a whole year so that's that's the plan is to keep doing it so i will update you guys on that and everything on the next video um expect a really fun one coming up um so thursday will be a update and friday will be a first time watch friday so we got a lot of stuff happening here at uh blu-ray hunter get ready for it bye